Hello, this is Chetan Nirula reporting for Cricket World and my current pit stop uh, is Centurion Supersport Park. This is my final visit to the crown on this tour at least. Um, we are in the winding part of uh, this long tour which has been eight weeks now. Um, this is the T20 series that is going on. But before that, let's talk about the ODI series which is where I left you last in Port Elizabeth. India have uh, won their first ODI series on South African soil, a historic moment for them here in Centurion on last uh, Friday. They took the series, a six-match series, with a staggering 5-1 win. Um, just rounding up what happened in Port Elizabeth, where India, actually that's where they won it, 4-1. They took a 4-1 lead, unassailable. Um, they won by 73 runs. Um, having scored 274 for 7. And Rohit Sharma coming good for the first time in this series, wiping his poor record in South Africa, scoring his first 100. It was a small ground, as I had said earlier, and he made full use of it. It was a slowish pitch, and South Africa had no response in a, a game that was not affected by rain, as uh, the Indian spinners came to the party once more, bowling them out for 201 in Port Elizabeth and then the final ODI once again you just felt that okay South Africa might show a bit more spirit not consider the sixth ODI as a part of the series uh, just consider it as a singular game there were a few changes Kaya Zondo, Farhan Burhadin also coming in so uh, a few changes therein and uh, you just got the feeling that South Africa might be up for the fight but it was not to be the case. They were bowled out for 204, a maiden half century for Kaya Zondo. So he showed that the experimentation was not a complete failure. But then India won with 17 and a half overs to spare, thanks to Virat Kohli's 35th ODI 100. Yes, he has 35 ODI 100s already at the age of 29. And um, faced with a very small total, he just, uh, uh, you know, just batted in the fourth gear. Never got to the fifth gear, but never really went down to the second or third gear either. Uh, if you saw his uh, Cape Town 100, he had uh, run 100 runs in his uh, 160 not out here. It was all about uh, stroking boundaries as he raced to his 35th, like I said, 35 ODI 100s. In doing so, he became the first cricketer. Not just an Indian batsman, not just an Indian cricketer, or not just a cricketer visiting in South Africa. Overall, he became the first cricketer in the history of ODI cricket to score 500 runs in a bilateral match, uh, in a bilateral series. Yes, there were six ODIs, but remember, the previous best in South Africa with a seven-match ODI series was Ricky Ponting's 280-odd in 2001-2002. So that was a seven-match series and Ponting managed 280, 280 odd. Yes, the pitches were different. Yes, ODI batting has changed. But to score 558 runs in six matches, um, superhuman. Virat Kohli is superhuman. Um, then came the T20 series. Now, the T20 series, India have kept their winning momentum and they won the first T20i in Johannesburg by 28 runs. It was, uh, once again, one of the flattest batting surfaces we have seen in this series so far. India scored 203 for 5. There was a bit of a batting change. Suresh Raina coming in at number 3. He's back for India in the international four. So he came in at number 3. Virat Kohli at number 4. Chikar Dhawan scoring a half century. Opening the innings. Um, India very early in their uh, innings decided that it was a batting pitch. A good batting pitch in fact. They decided that 200 was just about a pass score. They were aiming for 220. The middle order slowed down a bit. South Africa brought it back. They've been doing well in the death overs throughout the limited overs. And they restricted India to 203 for five. It was a new look side for South Africa. We had uh, Riza Hendricks, Junior Dalla, Heinrich Klassen. And uh, of course, uh, we had some old names, Chris Morris and uh, David Miller in there as well. JP Dumini was leading the side. Um, in the end, though, South Africa only managed 175 for nine. Bhuvneshwar Kumar became the first Indian pacer, or first Indian bowler, rather, to take five wickets in all three formats of the game. He took five for 24 in that first ODI, using his variations, his knuckleball, everything to brilliant effect and affected India's win. So India now, here, have a great chance of wrapping up the series, the first ever T20i series win on South African soil and they're looking good, you know, they're they looking like a very good unit. South Africa in comparison looking like the A side 
not uh, not the full strength. However, there is good news. Quinton de Kock was batting today. Um, Fav, Fav Duplessis has almost regained his fitness. AB de Villiers has been rested for the Australia series, uh, which is coming ahead. Dale Steyn has started running and bowling slowly again as well. Temba Babuma, he's also looking to bat this week. So, a lot of good news from the injury point of view, but none of those cricketers will feature in this T20 series. It's for South African fans who will probably get to see them during the Australia series. So, that's uh, that's about it. Um, the only thing is, uh, you know, it, it looks a little uh, bright and sunny at the moment, but the forecast for tomorrow is not good. It could rain, uh, the match could be a shortened affair, even five overs or it could be a complete washout as well. So, India still will have the opportunity to win the series in Cape Town, which is uh, the 30-20 on Saturday. But uh, rain permitting, they will hope to wind up the series here. They will look to finish this tour on a winning note. Uh, this is also the final, uh, final video for me on this tour. It's been a wonderful, wonderful uh, experience going through this beautiful country. If you really want to watch some cricket, you should w at least once in your life try and come to South Africa, watch a game at, uh, at the Wanderers, watch a game at the be beautiful Newlands Ground and of course Super Soul Sport Park which is of course an open stadium which is the one stand. It's, it's a spectacle here. They really love their cricket.